What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Friday and we should have team of the season warm up. I can't lie guys, usually team of the season is like a wait and a half during uh, FIFA slash FC like um, game cycles. But this year it is just, it's, it's like, it's just arrived, doesn't it? It's so quick. I'm going to log in a second time just to see if we've actually got an intro screen or anything like that. We haven't. Right, so we'll start with then uh, some objectives. Let's see if EA have given us anything. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the content, you want to drop a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. And let's see. So we have got team of the season, warm up and win. Win five for Kessler. Win matches, what is it? Uh, rivals, champs or squad battles minimum semi-pro. Kessler and a three Bundesliga or Bundesliga women's pack. Win 10 for Paolo Futre and a three La Liga, Liga F players pack. I wonder if there's like a minimum on that. That's going to be quite interesting. Uh, win 15 for a Tevez. Now, obviously, you could just put these guys into the exchange and get more packs for a Premier League or Women's Super League pack. Uh, win 20 for an 89 Abedi Pele and a Division 1 or Feminine pack. And then win... Hold on, go back in, please. Win 25 for Dean Natale, which is obviously for the Syria and Calcio A Feminine pack. And then triple teamwork. Win oh, oh, hold on. Here we go. Win three games using base hero Kessler, Futre, Tevez, Pele, and Dean Natale. And you're starting 11 for an 84 by 3. And the whole set gives you an 84 by 5. We've also got team of the season, warm up, daily login, upgrade, completionist, SBC. And this is just going to be packs and a little bit of uh, XP. So complete the daily login. So don't forget it, guys. Some decent stuff there for you as well. Uh, then we've got team of the season warm-up daily play completionist for a lot more XP here again. Um, one completion, an 80 by 5, an 80 by 5, an 81 by 2, an 81 by 2, an 84 by 2, an 86 by 2, and 2,000 XP with an 85 by 5 as the overall. Team of the season warm-up daily play. Play 1, 2, and 3 for 80 by 2s. And an 80 by 5 to claim at the end. Not bad. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. After that, guys, let's have a look in seasonal. Nothing. Milestones. Nothing. But evolutions. Come on, EA. Hook us up, baby. Don't hook us down. Get it. Tricky Ricky, Club 99, Atomic Ace, Unleashing Potential, Backline to Frontline, The Galasso Show, Formidable Inform, Overall Max 91, Rarity Team of the Week, Number of Playstyles Max 8, Number of Playstyle Pluses Max 1, and it gives one shooting, one passing, one dribbling, one defending, and pinged pass playstyle. It also gives a pace to passing, a dribbling, a physical and incisive pass plus. Not bad. Um, not bad. I suppose if you can kind of like turn an inform into like a good card that you can then further Evo, that would be quite nice. It does leave it quite limited to who you can use. But yeah, for example, you can pop Cristiano Ronaldo, get a little boost on him. What does it give overall? Hold on, let me go back to the uh, the view thing because it shows it twice there. One pace, one shooting, three passing altogether, two dribbling, one... Oh, so it's passing and dribbling again. Oh, it's, it's basically the same as uh, Unleashing Potential, isn't it? Except for, like, it's for informs only and gives a plus one inform. I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's a free Evo. Like, surely you've got, like, a team of the week in your club that you can just pop it on and, and get a little upgrade on. It's, it's not, like outrageously good or anything but it's not bad for a free evo let's have a look what have we got ea what have we got we have got two new player of the months guys we've got sergi roberto or the uh champions league matchup sergi roberto he is four star five star high high work rates five foot ten decent pace decent passing good dribbling good defending good physical He's got press proven plus, incisive pass plus, really good play styles with relentless as well in those passing play styles. That's, that's not bad. And of course, if he gets the plus two, he could be a banger. 
It's two squads, an 86 with an inform and an 87. Do you know what? Compared to the crud that we got yesterday, that's actually not bad, to be fair. And then Nordi Mukiele. Oof. Four star, four star, high, high, six foot two. Good pace, good passing, decent dribbling, good defending of physical, whip pass plus great passing combinations. Also, like a quick, sorry, yeah, rapid plus there. I think as a right mid, he'd be a lot better, or a right wing back or something, but because he's got no defensive play styles, but that is a good card. And if he gets the upgrade, could be a banger. He's an 84 and an 85 with an inform only. Wow. I, I think they'll both worth, be worth doing, to be fair. Especially if we get another showdown Evo to like further boost one, uh, would be quite nice. Ale was there yesterday. These guys were there. So I think EA have finally fixed these guys now, which is good. Chengiz and Dare was already there. Billing Scally and Liz Malou was already there, but we do now have Rodrigo Muniz. He's got four star, four star, six foot one. Decent pace, very good shooting, not great passing, great physical, not the best dribbling. Decent play styles, nothing crazy. Um, he's only an 85 rated squad. So I suppose, like, if you're a Fulham fan, you're probably going to do him because you don't get many player a month. So well done to you for having a player a month in there, sincerely. Like, I'm not, not mocking that. Um, I think he's probably a little bit overpriced personally, but I'd be I'd be elated if I was a Fulham fan. We've also got Bastoni. Um, Bastoni's uh, top form here. Team of the Week players won an 85 rated squad and then uh, 86 rated squad for Syria um, for this Bastoni. He's quite similar to his showdown card, but way cheaper. I actually don't mind this card. Six foot three, medium high work rates is great. He's lengthy, which is great. He's got good pace. He's got great defending, good physicals, decent passing and decent dribbling. Especially, I know the agility and balance is low, but that jockey plus will be massively negated. Like will massively negate the lack of agility and balance. So I think his play styles are brilliant. Uh, passing play styles are brilliant. Defensive play styles are insane. I actually think this is a really good card, um, which is quite nice. We've got Alawaran. We've got Rafael Marquez. Why have they got the old things on? We've got Nakata. All right, upgrades. Team of the season daily login. Once a day for an 81 by 2. Always do it straight away, guys. If you forget it, you will regret it. Don't want to pass up on very easy packs just for a bronze player. Always a nice thing from EA that. The 84 by 7 is still there for another day, which is nice. Um, 77 plus major leagues double upgrade is here. Earn a pack containing two rare gold players rated 77 higher from Premier League, League One, Serie A, Bundesliga, or La Liga. And this requires... That's actually banging, isn't it? Five common golds for a double 77 plus rare gold Major League pack. That's, that's banging value. That's awesome. GGZA. Is that infinitely repeatable for a week? Yeah, that is banging. Um, Team of the Week player pick is back again. Or there again, always, as always. Um, what else have we got for upgrades? Nothing else outside of that. But I do think that that 77 plus is very good. I like it. Challenges. Team of the season. Warm up daily chat. Didn't I just do this? Wait, hold on. I'm confused. Oh, 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 I see. This is like a proper challenge. This isn't like the bronze player. This is like for a rare election players pack once per day. Yeah, always worth putting your untradables in there to get a tradable uh, rare election players pack. What does it require? 28 chemistry, 78 rating, four rares, four from the same club as a maximum, four from the same country as a minimum, and a minimum of three leagues, which is reasonably easy, but um, I'm not like overly stressing. We've got Zambrotta's foot birthday. Uh, icon in there only 10 segments a bronze a silver and an 82 an 83 with an inform an 85 and 86 both with informs an 87 and an 88 both with informs and two 89s Oof. now this is a nice card don't get me wrong five star five star right back and left back as an option really good pace defending on physical really good play styles i just think those two 89s are probably a little bit too much for me. And I already have him because I packed him. But I still I still don't know. 
he, he is a good card, but I just feel like people already have cards like better. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that that card, if you're going to complete it or not. Damn, there's a lot of icons on offer right now, isn't there? You could build a really, really solid team. And then the exchange, not too much in there. Not 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 anything new in there anyway. It's about 150k cheaper than the market. You can't you can't like look at what the market price is versus what the SBC price is otherwise because they're just different, right? It's just it's just different ways of of, of accumulating fodder versus accumulating coins. Um, I think it's very it's way easier to accumulate like you know half million coins worth of fodder than it is to accumulate half million coins. I'm gonna open this 77 plus. I like I really like this for just uh for just five golds because actually you're gonna get two back every time. So it's that like it's actually only gonna really cost you three golds if you like rinse and repeat it. I I can't imagine you'd want to open it now, mind you. Um, what have we got? We got the ten coin pack, baby. The energizer pack. Give me some of that. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna open it with FIFA points. Cheaper. <laughs> got oh, never mind. Guys, if you opened it with 10 coins and you could have opened it with zero FIFA points instead, you just got ripped off. You just got ripped off. Dalian or DDM. I don't even know who it was. Oh, that might be uh, an 85, right? Nope. Locatelli 82. It was Locatelli 82. Is there a cup? It wasn't there when I looked, was it? We'll, we'll go and have another look. Um, Two touch... Names. So there isn't a 30 coin pack, just a 10 coin pack. Okay. That's in packs view, it's not. Um let's have a look at then in friendlies. They didn't see a cup in the objectives. No, there, there, there's no there's no cup. There's no cup. The pick can have team of the years. Wait, which pick? Was there a store pack that could contain team of the years? None of those tradable anyway. No chance. Fate and Fantasy Encore pack contains two guaranteed future stars. But fantasy or ultimate birthday player items, heroes or icons, and 10 rare gold player items. That's tradable as well. 1, 2, 5, and 50k. Includes one encore player pick, one of three, from any campaign, up to and including ultimate team birthday, not including heroes or icons. So team of the years will then be in this, won't they? Where's the 250k one? You can't, can't have it in this one. Can't have it in this one. But this this could then... This, this could absolutely... I'm going to open this one with coins because I want to open the other one as well. This could absolutely contain Team of the Years. It absolutely could contain Team of the Years. This is Pedro. Not worth much anymore, but he was a beast one back in the day. Check the pack odds. Too late now. I've already opened it. Um, this one yeah see no no uh, no team of the year in this one this is tradable this one though which is quite mad is it less than 1% chance for a team of the year is it we get here England Cam Liverpool there's a future stars Elliot Double walkout is going to be Milinkovic Savic. Mm, I feel like for a tradable pack, you've got a little chance of like getting some coins back out of that, haven't you? Um, is everything in packs? I don't. I, I. I don't think that there's a best of impacts. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to back out one more time, go back in because I really want to have a look to see if EA given us like a little splash screen or. Okay, so there you go. Best of team of the week is in. That's it. Just best of team of the week. That's a bit stinky, to be fair. Uh, and then there's no pop up either. I was half expecting like a little, uh, a little pop up. Um. So, new players 
We've got Mukiele, Roberto, Bastoni, Rodrigo, Muniz. So, as I said, I think this card's a little bit expensive for my liking. Is it two weeks of warm-up? No. Yeah, it's just, I know, I know, guys, I was aware it was a best-of team of the week. It's still just uninspiring, isn't it? Um, this card with a Hawk could be okay. Good pace, great shooting, great physicals. Little low on dribbling, terrible passing, four star, four star with power shot plus. It's, he's not awful. He's not awful. Um, probably just a little bit expensive for me. Does he really fit into a. Uh... Oh, he fits into the unleashing potential. Of course he does. Um, we've got Bastoni. Now, he's not quite as good as his uh, 90 rated card. However, I do think that this one has got better play style pluses. I know Anticipate Plus is a big one, but I think Anticipate with Block Plus and Jockey Plus is better. And I really like the price point of this, this card. I think with a Shadow Chem style, he's got great pace, great defending, very good physicals, good passing, and good dribbling with really good play style. So I don't mind Bastoni at all. We've got Sergio Roberto, 160k to complete. Four star, five star, so nice. Play styles are absolutely brilliant. I feel like I feel like I kind of would have to complete this because if Barcelona go through. And he gets a plus two across the board. 90 physical, 89 defending. And that 90 physical will boost these other categories even more because he's already got 99 stamina. 91 passing, 85 shooting, 88 pace, and 92 dribbling. He will be amazing. He will be amazing. Um, and then Mukiele, I also think, is good. Four star, four star with, again, brilliant play styles. No defensive play styles, so I think better suited as a right mid. And because of that, I'd probably give him an engine chem style. You, you could play him as a fullback. Don't get me wrong. Like, he'd still, he'd still do a job. But I think with an engine chem style, he'd be great. And once again, if he gets a plus two and goes to 89 defending, 89 physical, 95 pace, 91 dribbling, 92 passing. Oh, it's going to be a really good card. A really good card. Um, I have a feeling both of them will be downvoted for some reason. So Zambros is upvoted. Totally get that. Quality card. Absolute quality card. Probably for me a little bit too much. Uh, as I say, the 89s I'm not overly keen on. Daily Challenge is upvoted. The 77 Major League doubles are downvoted. That's really surprising uh, to me. I think I'm, I'm going to probably try and build like two or 300 of those on the uh, RTG because I think that they could be amazing. Um, 83 Team of the Week player pick is back. Is it the same requirements again? An 82 rated squad with two 84s. An 83 rated squad with an 85 is exactly the same. And then we've got the Daily Login warm up upgrade everybody loves. Mukia. Oh, wow. They're both upvoted. Fair enough. And, and if, you know, usually I'm like, when I like a card, the community is like, this is terrible. So I kind of thought people would not like them. But yeah, I agree. I think they're both very good, very good options. You don't mind it at all. And then uh, we also have, of course, the, uh, the brand new evolution. A formidable in form. I mean, it is what it is, right, guys? It is what it is. If you've got, there, there's going to be some cards that are more standout, like Salah, like Hansen, like Van Dijk. Um, you know, there's going to be some cards that stand out quite a bit. That brand new Phil Foden, actually, he's still four star, three star, which is a shame. Um, but, you know, this card could be really, really tidy. Um, bit of a weird, bit of a weird one, bit of a weird one. I, I'm not against it, I'm not opposed to it. But look at that, there's only uh, 453 eligible players for this. Um, and if you've already got an inform that you love a lot, you've probably already evoed it in some some manner or another. So, yeah, a bit, bit of a strange one. If it was a sort of thing that was repeatable, probably I'd like it a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, wouldn't mind it uh, too, too much. But that is it for today. Um, I kind of half expected just something more. I don't know what more. I don't know what it is I feel like we're missing. Maybe it is the cup that I feel like we're missing or an objective, like a crafting objective or something. Um, but yeah, there we go. That is going to be it for today. So thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And see you next time. I'm out. Peace.